That break you're so watching the Max Morning Show here and uh, the 3rd of January 2024. I think this is the first time I'm being here this year. And throughout the year, we only ask for uh, success, good things, better things coming our way. And more goodies for you, especially at home. More content, more exciting content on Max TV, Obenyashi, and also on Star Times. I say it's time for sports, and I'll be joined by my boss. Yao Ampo Fuankra, who is the head of sports for IMAX Media. And so this is the first time this year. Uh, Michelle, boss, Michelle, I've yeah, finished that year. This is the first time I'm meeting you this year. Yeah, 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 yeah you virtually, but physically, <laughs> physically I've been here. Yeah. Uh, but I hope everything is uh, well for you. Uh, 2023. Oh, very good. Mm. My, my new year resolution already mm. is to make sure my stomach does not become like mm. uh, my friend Sampa. But, uh, mm. but yeah, 2023 was great. Mm. Um, Sports-wise, family, personal, everything was, mm. was great. Challenge isn't there. You know, yeah, it's mm. part of life. But you don't need to let challenges what um, direct you. right. Mm. I, I see them as, or rather... Obstacles should be challenges Challenge. mm. that should build you up. So, yeah, I can't complain. I'm very grateful for health, mm. for life, for family, for friends, mm. for everything. I'm very, very grateful. Now, before we delve into what we are going to do today, just one highlight, 2023, in mm. terms of sports. Now, highlight your thing. A very tough question. We did mm. a, a multi-billion dollar question because I had so many highlights. But... Um, can I give you two? You can give out yeah. two. Yeah, but for me, mm. um, the Right to Dream Academy launch. In was, Egypt. In Egypt. That was huge. For me, you know, it was mm. not the event, mm. but the, the journey. It has taken Tom Vernon almost 20 years to get to that point. Mm. And yeah, less than my Nase, in this world, if you want to achieve something great, Tobo, don't rush. And you might even go off, but don't rush. Mm. Tom Vernon, you know his history. Yeah. About how on any fiance or by rent dying or uh mambo be almost shine colour and some colour in bob boss or moon or moon boots near cardia the bob and on any area on my life saving almost if you can buy and they started grooming these kids and to cut a long story short the likes of Kudus Mohammed uh Akam Wires these are just a few of their products Nyama the list goes on Thomas Japan right numerous players but have a right to dream but his beginning was so difficult Nobody would have thought now today his franchise is worth over 100 million US dollars. Ghana, Denmark, Egypt, and then San Pedro in, in, in uh, the US. Mm. It's crazy. And so for me, it's a lesson that we've not arrived. Debbie, 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 Debbie. If this guy took 20 years to fulfill or actually get to part of his dream, then we, what, what are we complaining about? We have a long way to go. Mm. So for me, that was an inspiration. For me, yeah. my highlight for 2023 was the rise of Mohammed Kudus okay. in England. Okay. It was that huge. He just, yeah. out of nowhere, came and he's taking over. Okay. One, two opportunities, he just grabbed it. And he's the talk of town. And okay. So they were landing now for you. Okay. I mean, there's this young girl after every West Ham game. Oh, yeah, interview. interview you know, and... I mean, she keeps talking about Mohammed Kuz, not just her. I've had, I've seen several interviews of the, the indigents talking about how Kudus is brilliant. And if the UK people talk about you that way, it means they're falling in love with you. The Bompai said he will maintain that, you know, mm. that, that form. Mm. And interestingly, what a, what, a, what a tribute for someone like Mo Salah or Sher Go, mm. I'm saying the third goal. No? And Okoye, Okoye Kudus Mohammed Kudus Now it's iconic. Celebration. Everyone is doing it there. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Mm. So I think, yeah, I, I agree with you. That could be also one of... Uh, the highlights. There were so many great yeah, highlights. Of course. MIA, but course. there were low points. We don't want to talk well, about the low points. Well, freezing mood now. I mean, a lot of highlights came yes. through in 2023, and we'll be talking about that. But let's hear Liverpool are leading the way. 45 points. Good for them. West Ham United, they didn't have Kudus uh, play yesterday for them, but almost so they are set on the table with 34 points. It looks like Liverpool are leading the way, but of course, still, still it's open because Aston Villa have 42 points. Manchester City have a game in hand. They are mm. 40. Mm. Arsenal have dropped to fourth on the table with 40 points. So it looks like it is becoming a two-horse race. Man City, Liverpool. But then there's an Aston Villa in the mix. Yeah, Can Aston, they go all the way? Aston Villa, oh my God, dear pal. Mm. But you know what? City, mm. because of their quality and experience and a certain... 
Bayern United is having a bad season, but bad you look season, at the points gap. And exactly. In some of the bad season, Grand, I look at where they are. Yeah, they have an outstanding yeah, year. Yeah, they will go 43. Yeah. Just to be between them and Liverpool. New Year, January, February, early February mm. will decide for some of these clubs. Liverpool, they'll lose Mo Salah mm. and they're losing Endo as well to the Asian Cup. So these yeah, are yeah, two. Yeah, Asian two, Cup. Yeah, yeah, these are two key players. Mm. So, yeah, City are not losing any players to AFCON. No. Arsenal. Are looking good. I think Arsenal bounced back. They're having a Thomas little bit Partey of a... Thomas is not coming. Well, so. yeah, yeah, I'm afraid Thomas Partey. And he's supposed to be back yeah. in a few weeks' time. Dibutala, EPL is West tough. West Ham United. West Ham. Mohamed Kudus. Yeah, they want to get in the top four. Yeah. You know, the other clubs, Antoine Semenyo mm. of Bournemouth and um, other key players. But the big absentees, Mo Salah and Kudus Mohamed, they're all heading... Moy says it will be hard on them because uh, Kudus... Has actually picked up settled form, right? In the West Ham team, just at the right time. Now, also Liverpool starts as well. Mm. Mo Salah is the one who provides an assist and yeah. scores more goals than any other player. So, with, without him for like almost a month, that and is then huge. Kudus, watch out, he's seven. Yeah, seven so far, moves. come on, big big loss. And their first game without him, they drew. <laughs> they drew, yeah. So, Mo Salah, it's it's going to be tough. That is big, tough. but but still, uh, on English football, uh, a legend has also lost his job. That is Wayne Rooney. He has been sacked by Birmingham City. Uh, when Rooney was appointed in October, uh, when he was appointed, Birmingham City were somewhere sit on the championship table after uh, about seven, eight games, uh, 15 games, sorry, when Rooney has seen Birmingham City slip to 20th on the table, and that has caused his sack. And you see, when Rooney is out of the way, he has lost his job as Birmingham City uh, manager. Now let's talk about Jordan Ayu. Uh, you know, himself, Jordan Ayu has been called into the Black Stars uh, of Abeka Timinoho, but he has been voted the player with the most dribbles in 2023 in the English Premier League. 83 take-ons. And uh, Jordan Ayu. Uh, yeah. So that is an accolade. Yeah, this is big for him. I mean, mm. for a player that is often criticized. You listen to his manager, his teammates, and they will tell you when he's with the ball, it is difficult to get it off him. And it, if you watch him, you can attest to that. It's, it's very, very true. In terms of his game mm. performance and stats, no, he's got a good one. And I think for him, mm -hmm. it's a sign also that maybe we are not using him to the best of his ability. But are we demanding more from him than what he can give? Because at Crystal Palace, they are looking at Jordan contributing and doing the defensive work. At the, in the Black Stars, we are looking at Jordan scoring goals. And it's like... It's so yeah, it, it depends on the coach. And again, for statistics, we 80, what, 88, 83, 83 dribbles. Yeah. If you had that in the Black Stars, I'm sure the likes of Inaki and the rest, it's all about how the coach wants to use them. And mm -hmm. for Crystal Palace, Oshia Jordan is about some defensive roles. Mm -hmm. When there's a dangerous player on the yeah. pitch, watch him or track it. And that is a role that perhaps in the Black Stars, Chris Hilton should look at and also push for him to be, you know, playing such a role. Of course, so Jordan there, and in 2023, on a good note, being voted as the best uh, dribbler in the English Premier League. Now, let's come home and do something from the Ghana Premier League. First round, now, baby, we are done with the first round, and these are the results that came through. Uh, we finished over the weekend. Accra Lions losing to Summer Tex by three goals to one. Baby, any goal stars also defeating Legon City's 4-2. Kumasi Asante Kotoko had uh, their fifth consecutive win there as they beat Bofuakwa Tano 2-0. And Mediema drew goalless with Karela. Adriana also beating Dreams FC by four goals to one. Heart of Lions getting their first victory in this year's Ghana Premier League as they have a new manager in Bashir Hayford. They won 2-0. Heart of Folk also defeating Bechem United by a goal to nil. That drama, drama, drama. Uh, and of course, all by a response stadium. Then Nations FC beating Swatman by four goals to one. And Great Olympics getting a 1-0 victory over IOT. To say, and a uh, first round, no? March the 17th uh, tier. Now, I actually tell you, no? Go. So, yeah, we'll return after the Africa Cup of Nations. But this is how the table looks like. So, after the first round of the Ghana Premier League, it is Samatex who are leading the way with 32 points. Adriana Stars are second with 30. Kumasi Asante Kotoko have climbed to third on the table with 29. And Asian FC, some few weeks back, they share league in us and the relegation zone. When they, they are fourth on the table with 27 points. In Swateman are fifth with 27 points. Rekum Chelsea, they are set with 27 points. Bechem United have 26 points and are seven. Legon Cities and the Park was a Fabian 
and ra or more ball friendly match or within the Namibia national team about one one and we're gonna have them they are eighth with 24 points hard to folk are ninth on the table with a 21 point that is the top half of the table let's look at the other half of the table where we have great olympics sitting in 10th with 21 point mediama are 11 they have four games in hand and they will be playing one today against RT Great Olympics and so our game in hand but they have 20 points Accra Lions are 12 with 20 points as well maybe any Gold Stars have a game in hand they are 13th with 18 points but for Aquatano are 14 they have two games in hand they have 17 points Karela they lie precariously above the relegation zone at the moment. They are 15th with a 16 point. They also have a game in hand. Dreams FC and so are four games in hand and are 16th on the table with 15 point. Real Tamale United, they also have a game in hand and are 17th with 14 point. Heart of Lions have two games in hand, but they won their first game in this year's Ghana Premier League over the weekend under a new coach, Bashu Hayford. Yeah, our first round, Ghana Premier League, Abiria. Yeah. Very, very exciting. Uhun ya oji league no, and they be another top. It's not mediema, it's me be that top. Kotoko abe that top da. I mean, you can see a clear pad. Mm. Who would have told the nation's FC would be fought on the table yeah. after the first round? Oh, with how idea. they started. Yeah, and I think this weekend, yeah, telecast matches now. Away team is not moving here. Yeah. Very apart from uh, nations. Nations. Very very mm. tough. Very difficult. But for me, still. The likes of Adriana, mm. Hearts of Oak second round, I still tip Hearts to come back and close the gap. Don't mm. write Hearts of Oak of one. Do you think they have a good team? They have a good, they, you see, they have good players. I can teamwork. I can I think a coach who's very strong with his philosophy, you know, oh, Mobe bought that style for the rest of the season. I like Tijani in charge, but I don't think he's the right person for the job to take them to the rest of the season. Mm. I'm a solid coach. Mediama have gone in for another coach yeah. to take them to the next level. But Hearts of Oak, second round, people should watch out for them. Kotoko are improving. Would the Afghan break, you know, be an issue for them? Is it a blessing because or uh, for Kotoko, a, they a wish. Curse for them. Yeah, because for, they wish. They are on a, some fine strike. Exactly. And our man's neighbor. Does it take away something? A yeah, good question. And if, if Richmond Lamte goes and has a good Afcon or a great mm. Afcon, that would even lift the rest of the team and Kotoko again. But at the end, they're looking good. I mean, every match, I say, they improve match after match. And mm. for the last six games, Kotoko have been on the ascendancy. But you know, Summer Tex and Nana in situ, very yeah. well. Timba for no? yeah. yeah. They are on top of the league. Don't be. Many say that they have one of the best squads. The Kayekes, the yep. Osei Usus. And they've won all their home games this season. Experience wise, well, and motivation wise, Nana sorts them out. So they don't have a problem with motivation on and off mm. the pitch. Players, player wise, they have experienced players, like you said, and also they have young, uh, inexperienced players who are learning and they want to make a name for themselves. Don't be surprised if one of the outside teams happens to be them to, you know, go as far as they can. But still, I insist that Hearts and Kotoko in the second round, watch out for them, especially Hearts. Your own friend, Randy Abe's team, uh, Hearts yeah. of Lions, yeah. finally they've won their first game after. Uh, parting ways with their manager and Bashir Hayford, who was with them between 2006-2007, came and lo and behold, when you first win? Bashir Hayford, oh, oh, when was the last time he coached yeah, the Ghana uh, Premier League? Uh, but Obaya and pa, pa, the magic is there. Yeah. It was a sad parting for the former coach because Fatal. they tried mm -hmm. as much as possible to keep him. He did so well for them, for the promotion, but unfortunately he left. Mm -hmm. And there's this bounce of a new coach, mm -hmm. new coach by Every player plays, this is psychologically, a player plays above himself. So maybe the new coach coming has pushed the players okay. to play above themselves. And they were able you to were pick at Tando when they qualified. They did they qualified win, yeah. and they yeah. were crowned champions. Do With you about think, six games to go. Yeah, do you think second round, no, when they return to Pando Sports Stadium, with what you saw the last time you went there, it can actually push mm. them forward? The, the plan is that in the second round, mm. Heart of Lions will not only stay in the Ghana Premier League, but they will cement a very good spot. Mm. Bando is a fortress for them, not because of um, just the pitch. It's almost a new pitch. Yeah. It's almost ready. Mm. It will be a perfect pitch. The fans, the atmosphere, and they have that spiritual base. They hardly lose at home. So at least if they get 80% wins in Bando, 
more or less they guaranteed safety and a good standing in the Ghana Premier League. Well, the Ghana Premier League will go on a one-month break and return after the Africa Cup of Nations. This weekend, Matisse is the FA Cup Games. And I will be able to share with March the 18th. But the outstanding match is ready. I don't want to be here for you. And RT will be taking on media man. Now, let's talk about the Black Stars of Ghana. We're just about 10 days to the start of the Africa Cup of Nations. Monday, that is a Ghana phone in the United States, Alisa Hotel, when Chris Hilton was naming his squad. The 27 man squad for the Africa Cup of Nations. Black Star squad, no. Obobo, we are now a bit and say, Papa, I'll select you here. Everybody is saying, and I'll select you players. We need a Chris Hilton kind. The two areas that I have to look at one is have I made contact, which means have I sure that this individual player continues to not want to, to, not want to be involved with the, the, the national team um, and also that this player will ultimately be in the squad and that's, that's the balance that I have to have with every player that comes into this equation. So what I can tell you is that on all three players, on all three players, they come into the two categories that I've spoken about. Either one that I have contacted, uh, or two that they would not have been in my initial 27, my final 27 squad line. So both, or sorry, all three of these players fall into this category. Um, as regards, um, I think on the question of discipline, I'm not quite sure of the, uh, the nature of the question. So Chris Hilton there explaining the rationale behind selecting those 27 players. So say, yeah, you know, you 27 players now. Let's look at uh, the squad and you know which player would be going to a uh, yeah, Ivory Coast. So this is the final 27 man squad for the Africa Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast. For the goalkeeping department, three goalkeepers were selected. Richard Ofori, Joseph Wallacott and Lawrence Atizigi. For the defenders, that is where we have Ali Dusedu, Dennis Odoi, Kinsley Shinla is also in there. Gideon Mensa, Abdul Fatah Hamid, who plays for Mediema, is also in there. Nicolas Opoku, Daniel Amate, Salisu Mohammed, and Alexander Jiku. For the midfielders, that is where we have Baba Idrusu, Elisha Ousu, Abdul Samed Salis, Richmond Lamte of Kumase Asante Kotoko has made the squad for the Africa Cup of Nations. Majid Ashmeri Wombi, Mohamed Kurus of West Ham, the star boy in there. Andri Rami Morgan Ayu is the captain of the side. He's in there. And Ransford Yebwa Kanazdefa is also in. For the wingers, Osman Bukari, Joseph Pinto, Jordan Ayu, who has been voted the best dribbler in the English Premier League for the year 2023, Ewo Hobi, Nyama, and so Ewo. For the forwards, it is Inaki Williams, Antoine Semenyo, and Jonathan Soa. Mr. Yampo Fuangra, with all these years that you follow the Black Stars, is this the squad that can deliver us the Afcon title? <laughs> oh, sir, no, uh, yes and no. Because <laughs> we've had squads that are even better than this. Yeah. They weren't able to mm. deliver. I, I had, I would have wished that four is you no know, instead of three. Mm. You add one more, Ben okay. to make it four and sacrifice one midfielder. Why am I saying that? Often strikers in the competition, mm. other teams steady them, and they find antidotes. Or oh, four, you have a better chance of varying your game, especially Oshes Semenyor and Naki and uh, Soa. You look at their games. Teams may be able to find a way mm. around them. Tech will bring you a little bit of a difference. And you have four strikers to choose from if you want to play two mm. top, if you want to mix it up. One top, obviously, Inaki has a you know structure in Semenyon, depending on your opponents. But again, Ghana, we're going with more midfielders, mm. which has been the tradition. The tradition. Um, a good squad. I'm happy with Lamte's inclusion representing the Ghana Premier League, not just him, but we've been talking about players with the passing range yeah. for Inaki. And for me, I'm very happy. He's one of the most consistent players in the Ghana Premier League. So we have three Ghana Premier League players. Yes. In there. And then Lamte, yep. uh, Hamidou, and Soa. Yeah, so two pair. from Mediama, one from Kumasi. Soa, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Uh, some were talking about disciplinary issues, but for the Black Stars, we've not had that yet. Hopefully, he'll take a better 
lead into the Black Stars mm -hmm. and not bring those his issues at club level. I mean, with all these senior players around, I'm sure he will learn from them. And they will, even they thinking even, about on the pitch. Yeah, they will talk to yeah. him uh, on the pitch, how he should conduct yeah. himself and all that. And, and his debut for the Black Stars yeah. was, was very impressive. Mm. So hopefully, Omenen Akasa mm. and he will know how to conduct himself with senior players around him. Look, uh, the Black Stars could, could surprise many because the thinking is that we are not going far. But I disagree. AFCON is a tournament that once you go beyond the group stage, Anybody can win. Mm. Once you go beyond the group stage, it's a knockout. Knockout. And you win your knockout game one, one step game closer. At a time. You win that one, and then you're thinking, you mm. know what? I didn't even exactly. So if we get a good start, but we're in a very tough group. Well, but tough group. Osha squad now, there are some big messes in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Abdul Baba Rahman, who plays for Park opted Thessalonica, out, yep. opted out. He explained the reason why he didn't want to play. Thomas Partey is injured. The biggest name. Yeah, yeah, that is what we know. Yeah. Tariq Lamte is not there. Not but fit, the yeah. biggest name in there has to be Thomas Te Partey. The last edition, we did not have Mohamed Kudus play for us. Remember that he was injured and uh, there were talks of him joining camp later. Uh, there were talks that Thomas Partey could recover in about a week's time. But I'm sure the technical team don't, don't want to take any chances with that. Yeah, if... How big is that a mess for uh, the Black Stars? Say Thomas Partey. A player of Excalibur and Kobe. Well, but Salah Pate, he needs stats, and he's such a valuable player, whether at club level or national level. But and is that Salah Anko after Nema Egypt too? Because maybe, Pate is more or less our biggest player. Maybe, mm. but I wouldn't, I wouldn't push it that far. Mm. I think Salah is the embodiment of mm. Egyptian football, yeah. club and national. Pate has been on and off. Let's mm. be, let's be very yeah. honest. He doesn't have three, four matches consistently, consistently for the Black higher, Stars. Yeah man of the match mm -hmm. performances salah does you know but having said that if you have party on the bench and he's fit or even starting your opponents have a problem of how to neutralize him that gives you tactically an advantage his miss could also be a blessing for other players to also show up and do something and i'm hoping that he recovers quickly for our world cup qualifiers mm -hmm. he'll sit at home and watch the afcon and see that look I need to be in this squad. This is a potential great squad for us to qualify for the World Cup. The injury issues, Nudia Mutalahi, we really need to look at it. It's getting a bit worrying. Mm. About three, four matches, and then he's off for five or six yeah. matches, or even two or three months in this case. That is what even pushed us now to go for Declan Rice, because Good. the consistency, Georgino, Declan Rice, Pate is not always available. When and Declan has there. been doing well. Yeah. You know, so hopefully when Pate comes mm. back, he'll be fit. If the player is one week from fitness, mm -hmm. there's no guarantee, so Bebano, he can make the match fitness yeah. in the tournament, and then you have a problem. And you, the same Ghanaians, who say, I didn't know the half fit player. Make I say the Wakasu Afcon. call the right. last edition, right. from, but he never recovered in time. In time. To so, even play a game for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've had issues where players have been suspended, but calculate here, maybe two matches. If Ghana advances, like the World Cup with mm. Laya Kingston, if Ghana had made it to the second round, which we did, yeah. he would have been able to play by Jan Fadanko. Yeah. Well, that is what happened with the Black Stars uh, yeah, squad. Now, you name me, you know. And now, uh, Team Nakodu Kumase, when we say Kumase, is the home of the Black Stars. Uh, we were supposed to come in South Africa, but as you say, uh, Asukwa, uh, Abraham Kessim Puna, they say, well, we're training. Uh, let's watch how the Black Stars actually go to the Garden City. Garden City, uh, they are, I mean, most acceptable home now. Sana Mekano, because Kumasi had the Black Stars who fell apart, and they feel comfortable when they are there. 
mean, me show be to say Rich Molamte, his inclusion and the team campaign in Kumasa. I think it is brilliant. Mm. Um, that support. But you've seen them uh, arrive, 14 players. Uh, others are set to join today and tomorrow through to when the team would leave Ghana. Yeah, Omar started our uh, Abraham Kese. Yeah. and Dr. Uh, Kwame Chase, sports company. Absolutely. Mm. And um, I would like to say a big shout out to Coach Eben Sifa. In fact, before I went to Abraham Kese for the first time, it was Coach Sifa who told me that the complex is almost ready. Mm. That's that time. It was about 60%. And also, this would be one of the stadiums in Ghana that would change Ghana football. I thought maybe oh, he, he's exaggerating. Mm -hmm. But since then, this stadium has hosted the women, has hosted the FA Cup fight. It has hosted so many competitions and matches. And look at the pitch and look at the venue. And today, it is hosting the Black Stars of Ghana. So sometimes when private businessmen or individuals are doing something, I say a boom. And the state of the pitch is even better than that of the Baba. Yeah, Papa no, currently. Uh, yeah, Papa no, Dr. Kwamiche, he's got experts who look after the pitch. You know, his son, the president, um, Divine Buedu as well. He's, he's um, somebody coming from um, oil and gas background, but he's also a business-minded person, and they've been able to keep this facility. And the good news is that it will improve. Almost the new, they are adding little bits to it, as time goes on, mm. the, 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 the floodlights are going to be improved as well. And if this wasn't there, the question is, where would the Black Stars have trained? Babayara, Anase, Lepajo. <laughs> but here, you mm. have all the facilities. And yeah. for security reasons, you can't just enter this stadium. Mm. There's no way you can enter, unlike others where there's and a I'm little And I'm sure this goal. is the first time most of these Black Star players are, have Apart entered from the... Apart from the, the, Rich Malamte yeah, and the, the so Midiama boys. Yeah. This is the first time most of them are, are, are training at uh, the Abraham Kese. I'm sure they are happy with what they are seeing. Um, um, yeah, sure said yeah. they'll be so delighted. All mm. seater. Mm. And look at the hammer, the dry weather. It's not rained for some time, but mm. I should pitch, you know. Yeah. So I think this is an example. And I would plead with the millionaires and billionaires in Ghana who have money that, you know, when they invested in the Rolls Royces and the you know, mm. the yachts, I'm wondering about these kind of facilities as well. Mm. They, they have so much money, you know, they should also think about these facilities um, in their regions, mm. in their communities, and surely the national team, as in this case, okay. has benefited. But quick one, what, what is your thoughts on the Black Stars uh, changing their training camp from Johannesburg to uh, Osekum? I mean, that decision, when it came first, and there were a lot of hula balu debates about why the team is camping in South Africa now. Yeah. The GFS says that they've resigned that decision. Yeah, interestingly, Binyako was mm. at the time, and people were, a couple of senior, I wouldn't mention, you know, Omuni Ghana, mm. and they were bashing that, ah, yeah, I don't know, Boyesa, why do we have to go to South Africa? And mm. I was telling them that it was based on good reason, mm. and I'm sure they, they had other venues, and South Africa was the mm. best. But I agree that. If you have venues in Ghana and you, you do your scouting, mm. you can have the Black Stars coaching. And this is where we have Abraham Kese come into the... the facilities are available. So mm. it saves us a lot of money. And that's where people were not happy about. Mm. And I also feel that it makes Ghanaians feel that is their team. They feel that a connection. connection. Okay. And Babayara or mm. Kumasi rather has this vibe mm. for national teams or international mm. uh, matches where Ghana never loses when you get the blessings of Nana Utufo before you leave. Mm. So there are benefits, and I think Keto Kriku and his um, men would have to take that in good faith. Um, yeah, we've been told it was the coach's decision. Mm. Um, I think that's an unfortunate mm. statement. Let's not, you know, we're not in Kola and our fools in Ghana. Throwing anyone yeah, under I mean, the bus. When, when you say it's a coach, collective decision. It's a collective decision. Mm. Not right? just the technical team. Yeah. Fine, yes, sir. Mm. And I think that is also what didn't help the GFA. Yeah. So going forward, let's let's protect the coach. Mm. Let's not throw him under the bus. And let's be honest. Sikani mm. system. Let's let's save Ghanaians and let Ghanaians feel that, mm. oh, they've listened. The media spoke, they complained, and the FA has listened to them. And I think going forward, that is how it should be. We will all want mm. the Black Stars to succeed. If they win, it's good for Ghana. Only GF will issue, and I wouldn't care to quick will issue. Fatun chain, I support the Black Stars. That's okay. what I keep telling everybody, especially in the media. Now, you have a call. Just 10 days to the start of the year, of course. And hey, Ted, in Tiaka 10 yep. days now, I've got now shots here. Now, what? Amen. Yeah, yeah, she said, I'm going to turn out to me. I'm going to turn out to me.
how are you seeing this after? Like, what do you think would happen? You've watched several Africa Cup of Nations. You've covered several. I mean, one of the best tournaments I watched that you covered was in Egypt. That is in 2006. Wow. Uh, that's not, where, where, did, where did 10? Oh, let me say one. Yeah, that was my first. Yeah, Alexandria. Yeah. I want to meet Alexandria. I'm and yes, yeah, so, the weather was cool. Uh, for tennis, you know, Port, I mean, yeah, Port Said. You know, I mean, Tini, you know, I want to meet. I mean, it was a good tournament. Mm. 2008 in Ghana, it was good. My mm. share this. How do you think the Ivory Coast tournament will go? Unpredictable. Ivory Coast, it's a Ghana. It's just the language. That's it, and maybe the temperament of the people. Um, they have uh, futu, which is fufu. They have banku, they have everything that we eat, you know. They have people that, that are called kojo, poku, and all the rest of it. But for the football, it's unpredictable. Um, by God's grace, this is going to be my, my tenth Afghan. Tenth. Tenth. Hey, nyamima, nyamima uh, minkwa, tenth, nyamima, yes, so, tenth Africa Cup of Nations. Yes, Alcoba. since 2006. Yeah, it's about nine or ten. Yeah. Since 2006. Mm. I may cover as oh, a Okay, report. I say, yeah, yeah. ten days, so don't soon. Uh, yeah, but yeah. God, I'm very grateful mm. to God. And there are many more that you would cover. Amen, yeah. amen. But this one, you're mm. the one who's going to be moving around. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be behind you, so yes. They be okay, I'm in back because it's too okay, anyway, but Mutala, it's yeah. going to be unpredictable. Mm. It's going to be a, a great tournament. If Ghana gets out of the group, mm. we're one of the favorites. Mm. My worry is the group. My worry Once is you're group. able to get out, out of, of the, the group, group, Ghana will be one of the favorites mm. because we have that temperament and the vibe mm. and the name, you know, they'll pick up. But Cape Verde and, and uh, Mozambique, mm. we should be wary. I'm not worried about Egypt, funny enough. I don't know why. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried. Last about... time we met them in the AFCON, they beat us by a go to nail. I think yeah. it was Mo Salah that scored. Yeah. So I'm not mm. too worried. You bet me, actually, Egypt, at worst, draw. Mozambique, Cape Verde is my worry. worry. Tactically, Didi Dramani, Boatin must help Coach Hewton to get the tactics right. If we don't get it right against the Cape Verdeans, and we don't get it right against the Mozambicans, those little surprises could worry us. But apart yeah, from that... Afcon in June, July, da. Yeah. Reverting back to January. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weather wise. Weather, yeah. And then the, 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 the calendar. Mm -hmm. And you've got the Olympic Games coming up in summer. You know, you've really got to look at the can calendar. Mm -hmm. And then the Euros are coming up. So, it's all she should be. One, yes, One, uh, people will not even be looking at the AFCON. Mm. The Asian Cup is also around yeah. the same time. So, this is the best time. I saw your strategy. To, to be very strategic. Now, Max TV, AFCON, are we going to be heavy on it? Absolutely. Do we have yeah, so up? Yeah, you know, behind mm. the scenes, mm. fans, uh, Adriane, fashion, music, sights and the sounds. Culture the culture. Of Ivory. The language, mm. you know, uh, how we coping. Mm. It's, it's going to be great. And the countdown, obviously, okay. is, is ongoing. And hopefully, people tune in. And uh, corporate Ghana would also come on board because they know we've done it before. Qatar yeah. 2020, you know, two and the rest. So hopefully mm. when we, you know, the momentum, mm. we'll have the rest of the corporate people coming on board to support. Momentum is yeah. very important. I say low. Uh, it's yeah. like all the other countries are waiting for it to yeah. be close. I'm sure by the close of this week, yeah. Christmas, mm. New Year, and other mm. issues. And then by this weekend, mm. When the players start arriving early in Ivory Coast, almost touch it down, then the hype will start getting it, and then before you realize, kick off. So it's going to be a great time. Okay, Nti yeah, the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations, or Bebaso, or Ivory Coast. Now you know, it's in your country more. Now you actually are looking and, and for the best of football. Hundred percent, and mm. of course, I need to say a big mm. uh, thank you to you know Regalia for the hats. You know Regalia. Regalia and, for Nedema. Yes, Regalia, yeah. Omoya and Tyrian. Mm. So and. They always make sure that I look good. You know, the hat is like the shoes that I wear. It's, mm. it's my image. Mm. I go to places and people are saying, you know, al haji assalamu alaikum. <laughs> and, I, and I take it in good faith. Mm. Um, but my dressing is not uh, religious. It is more about my, my trend and my brand. Mm. A channel there, I will not dash it. You know, mm. in Ivory Coast, Okay. Thanks, uh, bro. The Africa Cup of Nations is starting in about 10 days' time, and it's expected to be one of the best Afghans. Patrice Mosepe, CAF President Aka, said tournament way, it would end up being one of the best. And Max TV, as you know, we always got you covered as far as a tournament like this is concerned. Nami Sakai will say the Africa Cup of Nations will be live exclusive. In HD on Star Times Premium Channel 246. Star Times Premium Channel 246. 
e ho na obi nya africa cup of nation na hwe ni nyina games e be bo ivory coast nyina star high times definition. yeah high definition hd crystal clear star times channel 246 wo be nya ni nyina hwe until ni star times decoder uh, star times decoder the ultimate bora e o be delay in decoders be anwa kwa jodi you only need 260 ghana cd 260 Ghana CD. Okay, you be mau. Aye, this no. You be mau. Aye, the code no. Obenya cable. No, I send you one month super subscription. One month free. Into one month. Perfect timing. Two hundred and sixty na. You don't need to pay anything. Yeah. Odi efa kosi odi efix mau. Obe she Africa Cup of Nation. Any HD matches ni ni na be koso Ivory Coast no. Obenya. Thanks y'all for always being around, guiding some of us. And uh yeah, yeah, did we chill walk over ten? Yeah, so yeah, she said be shas yeah na aye ti me do ten no. Amen, amen. So that is Yampo for Ankara, the head of sports for IMAX uh, yeah. Media. My name is Mutale Akubahana. I'm the best in baby. Any a joy. Ababa Twa.